Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Prowl, from 2010. It's from the first year of the After Dark Originals, is directed by Patrick Syverson, and stars Courtney Hope and Bruce Payne. I talked a little in the last review about my experience watching this first slew of After Dark Originals in the theater. Out of the five films that made the final cut of the After Dark Originals, we only saw Fertile Ground, which we covered already, and two that we haven't yet called Seconds Apart and The Task. We didn't much care for any of them, although I remember liking Seconds Apart a little, so we did other things instead of seeing the other two After Dark Originals that weekend. Husk, and this film, Prowl which is too bad because they were probably the best out of the five. Prowl is about a group of 30-year-olds playing at being 18 to 21 who find themselves the prey of a brood of vampires. Prowl is alright, it's a lot like Husk in that it isn't anything special, but it gets the job done as far as being an entertaining horror film. However, my biggest takeaway from Prowl is to not get attached to any of the characters because after you spend less than 30 minutes with them and just start to know them, they start dropping like flies. They may as well have retitled this film, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, because that is the best way to describe it. And I was a little pissed that I had gotten invested in some of the characters only to have them decimated in short order but not pissed enough to get in the way of me enjoying the film. It is still a good ride from beginning to end, and it even had a pretty cool turn towards the end that changes the game. I guess if I had to complain further, I did have a problem with how loud the movie was. Lots of loud, extended noises that were just that. Noise. It didn't really add anything to the film other than scoring a jump scare here and there. I get that a quick stinger makes for good scary sound design, but these are long and drawn out sounds. If I had to describe them, I'd say the whirring of dental drills and the grinding of gears. I just don't appreciate it in this film is all. This is why I'm giving Prowl a C-, because it's average, but that sound design is pretty atrocious and obnoxious in places. Join me tomorrow as we talk about the After Dark original I've never seen before as it wasn't released on DVD with the other seven After Dark originals until four years later in 2015. It's called Rekill, and it's tomorrow. See y'all then.